one year of a genocide that was live broadcasted. It feels like an awfully long time, but we're all still here demanding humanitarian action. We're all getting stronger, we're all getting more informed and better and stronger. And because of this growth, the clock is ticking for the Irish government to take real action. The Palestine Solidarity Movement will not be satisfied with lip service or with crocodile seals from government officials. We demand real measures to put an end to the US-funded and encouraged genocide of the Palestinian people. We demand the government to enact the Occupy Territories Bill and we demand them to stop allowing Israeli weapons to pass through our airspace. member of Jews for Palestine Ireland and I can't believe that I continue to have to repeat this but we're sick and tired of lazy excuses that allow institutions and the government to get away with genocide. We're outraged by people who use our Judaism to justify the, these atrocities who take place. Jewish <laughs> people have stood on the side of the oppressed in history so don't let Israel, a country that has existed for 1% of Judaism history, to commit atrocities and rewrite history in our name, not in our name. We are tired of Jewish suffering being used to justify another genocide. Never again is never again for anyone. And on the other hand, I'm also here on behalf of UCD Students' Union, and I think I speak for most students in this country, Trinity, UCD, uh, Cork, Galway. After last year, it's very clear that the students are and will continue to be unapologetically pro-Palestine. To the Irish government, to the Irish government, and to anyone who refuses to call out the U.S. bloody policies, the future of Ireland, the future of your country, will continue to fight the occupation, will continue to fight against the Israeli apartheid system, and will continue to fight for Palestinian liberation. So let's continue this fight, let's keep getting informed and organized, join groups of people fighting for Palestine, whether that be BDS groups, solidarity groups or students' union. We're stronger together, so let's keep pushing until the day we see a free Palestine. Sir Shadan Palestine.